Hey guys, it's Adam with Blue Steel Solutions here to show you how to create your LinkedIn account. So you're going to go to LinkedIn.com and you can see before you even have to go to any other page, you can sign up right away for free. So once you enter in your first name, your last name, some an email that you'd like to use, and I suggest you use uh, whatever email you have associated with your business, uh, and then make up a password and click join now. Um, you're going to go to a screen where uh, you'll have to enter in your phone number and then LinkedIn will um, either text you or call you with a code. And once you have that code, you'll end up in a screen like this and you'll just enter in that code. And LinkedIn doesn't keep your um, phone number, so don't worry about that. Um, then you click verify the code and then that gets you in and this is where you can start putting in some um, location information. This is pretty important because it helps uh, LinkedIn figure out if there are professionals by you that maybe it should, um, you know, get you in contact with or in touch with. Uh, and this is where you just start telling it, um, you know, what your job is, what you do, um, you know, why you do it. And so, you know, enter in this stuff. And if you don't have a name for your company right now, that's okay. Um, you know, just make something up for now. Um, you know, because they're, they're looking for people who are already working at specific places, not, uh, whose companies already exist on LinkedIn, you know, so you're going to have to go and create, um, a different profile for that. And then, you know, just choose, um, just choose where your company is involved, um, what market you're in, um, you know, and then once you, you've chosen all these things and walked through this, uh, you can tell LinkedIn what it is that you have an interest in. And they want to know this because they can help you, um, you know, setting these goals early on helps LinkedIn to help you reach those goals. So, you know, maybe it's just building my professional network. And so I've, I've made this email address um, and then I can put that in there so that it will look through my contacts and it will say, okay, uh, these other people who are in your contact list for your email address, they're also on LinkedIn. Let's just connect you right away. And that helps you build the network out without having to search people down. You can also skip over this if you'd like. Um, and so then you have to confirm your email. Um, you click confirm email. It's going to send you um, into you know your email account. Um, and once you do that and the email is confirmed, um, then you, it'll give you some more suggestions. Here's some other people that we really think you should connect with. And you might recognize some of these people. Obviously, I don't recognize any of them because that email address is, uh, is fake. But you might uh, very well recognize some of these people. Um, so you can just, based on, especially based on that um, zip code you put in in the beginning. So you can uh, choose to add them or you know, skip this step for now. Uh, and then again, choosing the topics, it, it really helps uh, LinkedIn figure out, okay, what are some posts that this person's going to be interested in? Um, you know, and then uh, you can also choose to get the app on your phone. Um, you know, that's, uh, that's up to you. It depends on how you use social media. If you use it on your phone, a lot of people do. It can be helpful. Uh, and then you're in, you know. And, and now if I go to my home page, here's all that stuff we talked about before, sharing an update, uploading a photo. I don't have the option to do LinkedIn Pulse uh, just yet, probably because I have no uh, network whatsoever. But um, that's it. That's how you set up a, a personal profile.